Hey folks, Quilly Team here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play EU4 as Moir. We are currently, well, I was going to say recovering from a war. We're not really recovering. Everything's groovy. We're reorganizing our troops over here after pulling back from a war in the east, having uh, expanded a fair bit. If we go into diplomatic map mode. Oh, I was going to say, why is this a different color? Because it's a territorial core. But we can see we have a bunch of this land over here, some of which is being cored. Um, we're not going to go and make the states right now uh, until we've gone and embraced the institution, since the cost is based on the autonomy and the territories keep the uh, uh, the cost a little bit lower. And really, the autonomy on a lot of these places, I suppose, are going to be on the high side regardless, because they've just been taken. I don't know. It just feels fine to wait. Maybe it's because I still have it programmed in my head from when this was like... I don't think this was based on autonomy cost. I think it was based on... Um, number of like non-state provinces or something so i think i'm still a little bit hardwired there we'll see um was looking around trying to figure out where might we striking because we're still pretty close to the manpower cap uh although we, we can let that recover a bit obviously there's some aggressive expansion issues to consider but what could we do well delhi is definitely going to be a priority finishing off balmanis is as well and then at some point probably we'll end up breaking some uh, alliances with orissa and uh vinegar over there especially depending on what kind of missions start to appear for those things so punjab over here we haven't done yet that's up in delhi territory which makes sense integrate the purbius well that's the yeah that's our quest with the uh the discipline conquer kunanj oh we're basically done that there's one province in bengal and then uh, kuman which is our vassal and we can go ahead and eat up soon Guilds. That's more Bengal and then Orissa. So right around here, we'll have to do that and then renovate. Do we really not have to ever go south over here for our missions? I mean, we'll probably want to because I'm assuming there's a whole. Ooh. OK, yeah, this does need land all the way down. Oh, including on the island here. OK. And Unite the Rajput is up top. We can change our country twice? I don't know if we can change it twice or one versus another. We'll obtain new missions. Ooh. This is one's new traditions. This one's new missions. How excite. Okay, so there's that. But I was thinking we could also go across um, the water over here, right? We could uh, load up some, some ships, build some more transport board, boats since ours got killed, and consider some overseas. Uh, well, overseas is a little over, over pond conquests. Um, one of the issues, though, I think, is we are kind of on the cusp of having Persia. Well, right now the AE is only minus 25 with Persia, but that's interesting. Not as high as I thought. Obviously, we'd get a lot more if we were taking some territory right on there borders i don't know that we can fabricate claims further away <clears throat> no possible neighboring provinces yeah because we don't share a c zone actually even this yeah this is fine so oh, we do share a c zone there is that why yeah there you go so because we have this province we can fabricate claims just across this and then start to expand into the Arabian Peninsula. And then maybe we could go down to um, into Africa. Uh, we are still talking about maybe doing something that gives us a colonist to expand over here. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see. For now, though, I think it does make sense for us to at least consider generating claim in Hormuz. Doesn't mean we have to use it. But let's think about it. Tech-wise, we are still a couple of years ahead of time for military tradition, and theoretically, we might even be able to embrace the institution um, for the military technology, but... Okay. This, yeah, we don't want Kuman to become a march. Oh, we can finish our influence ideas. I think that's an excellent plan. I don't think we're desperate for this next level. I think we go and finish these influence ideas finally. Get our discipline bonus, which is nice. And new policies available. So, oh, well, we can run these both because we can have one policy of each type. So local militia, decrease war exhaustion, increase garrison army damage. Sure. But then, yeah, cultural unity. 
So now between this and our religious ideas, we can do culture conversions pretty damn cheap. And I think that's going to be fairly appealing. So a lot of these, oh, we don't have, wow, we used literally exactly triple power. Okay. <clears throat> right, we're still reorganizing. Men do. They're right over here, right? I suspect we don't have a CB because we don't border them, so we can't holy war them. Oh, you're just drilling there. I thought you were on the move. Okay. Right, we're organized. Right, this army here now cor corresponds to our half stack template, which is so our combat width, I think, is 27, but we're basically rounding up to 28 making a stack that's got a front line that's half of that. And then, um, actually, I suppose this could have 14 artillery, not 12. I'm just realizing. I match, made it match the infantry, but really it should be 14 artillery. I won't worry about it right now because we are kind of sitting at our force. Well, not literally. We could actually just throw a couple more cannons in here. We may as well. Uh, I think this still has some support limit left or we could move it as well. Lose Diplo Power. Um, 10 Diplo Power is nothing. I mean, I'm not sure that the Absent Merchant matters that much anyway, but yeah, 10 Diplo Power is nothing. And speaking of, oh, right, the other thing I was going to do, oh, I, I looked at things before the episode started, I'm like, right, now I'm going to do this and this and this. Um, the other thing is we have a lot of money, and we finished a bunch of manufactories, which means the workshop, hugely profitable in a few places now. Because our base production has gone up so much that the workshop is going to give us so much more value. You know what, I'm going to build it in Korra as well. Um... Station, force, uh, well, actually, force limit, yeah, maybe. You know what? Let's do it. We've got money. We can support high force limits. And, yeah, not a tremendous amount of increased trade power right now from that. And, oh, then I don't have enough money for the manufactories. Not right now, but, yeah, our income is still crazy good. We've never lowered our army maintenance this entire game, which is crazy. I mean, it helps that we started with a gold mine, obviously, but it's still like absolutely like really stupendous to me. Welcome home. Wayward brothers and provinces. Oh, just all right. Cool. More Sikh. They're at war with Persia. You don't say. Yeah, our allies are still unwilling to join in currently. With the distant war and whatnot. You don't have like a sub ally I could more easily declare on, huh? I guess if I go into, I think I've looked at this before. If I click on Persia, yeah, their allies, Memluks, Nogai, who else are you allied to? You have four allies. Oh, there's one. Memluks, Shervin, where's Shervin? Oh, right in there as well. Okay. And adjacent. Yeah, so that sucks. Because if there, we could declare war on someone who's a little closer, that would probably pull things in. But um, because it wouldn't be as distant to war. I mean, things sometimes change once the war starts. But I'm not going to count on that. Cancel the target threat. And with my vassal, yeah, we're there. Uh, we can do it with a gift. We just need 17 more. Who's tax base? I don't like that. Yeah, we'll just take a loyalty hit. That's going to be fine. Uh... There it is. That is closer to the bottom. Just overshoot it just to make sure we don't get a rounding problem. Um, oh, we can take a, 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 a legitimacy, legitimacy hit. We were maxed out and we've got so much prestige that it's growing pretty quickly here. So just before we start any wars, let's start the annexing process. Lovely. Cancel you. And let's put you on suck up to allies mode. It may make a difference in bringing them over the edge. Ming has insulted us. 
Insulted Rival. And all right, Bengal, but I we have a truce with you, so I can't embargo you. Yeah, okay. Annexing is good. Start this up, that's good. Manpower is coming up to a force limit. Indulgent trade efficiency goes down. I mean, it's not the end of the world, but it is kind of annoying. I think we are still at our... Oh no, our army general limit has gone up. Well then, by all means, let's roll a new proper general. We should have really good tradition. We've got some points to spare. Batan Sing Sing. Holy crap! All right, that'll do. Oh yeah, you were on Rebel Stomp. Um... Yeah, we'll go to drill anyway, it's fine. Conversion, yeah, sir. Prestige stays capped for that reason as well. We're still gonna go for the conversions. Yeah, we're still one year ahead of time. And yeah, nothing, we're still waiting for um, printing press to spread to more provinces before we even have the option of spending money. We'll easily be able to spend it. Just because, well, we could, we could save up. I mean, I guess right now we couldn't, but yeah, we'll easily get to the point where we can spend it. So I'm not worried about that. We can save up very quickly. I thought these guys are in a war. Mm-hmm. All right, so manpower is now capped. One, two, three, four. We'll go up to our force limit. Wow. Brought us exactly down to zero. Well, I guess it was 0.95 because we're rounding, but still. We may as well do that. Get some extra cannons going on. We might still just consider going for Hormuz. Oh, which means I should get some transport ships. Yeah, let's do that. Right, we have no sailors because this is constantly using up sailors a little bit on this mission. Should I just dock you for a while? We'd lose trade value. I'm wondering, like, do we grab some sort of naval ideas? I almost never. Galley combat ability. Yeah, the thing is, we're not going to do galley combat on here, right? Well, we do have coast. That's true. I forgot about that. Like, we don't have an inner sea. But we do have coast, and if we're fighting on coast, the galleys do quite well. Well, we'll look at some more um, naval buildings once we got some money again. What's happening? Craven. Oh, King. Why are you so bad? Uh, we'll take the... I mean, that's... Well, no, we've got plenty of missionary strength right now. We're going to take the inflation reduction. I'm wondering if I should go and promote him. I guess I, well, we can't, we can't afford it. But yeah, we do have inflation, which is actually apparently going down now. Oh, I didn't realize he'd be enough to overcome things. So that's good. And yeah, we're nearly capped on military. Oh, there we go. We'll go ahead and do this. So yeah, we are getting the 15% increase because we don't have the printing press, but that's fine. And that's going to level up our cannons and make our army considerably stronger. Yeah, we're going to go for the small cast iron. I usually go for the large because it's like, oh, large sounds better. It does have more fire pips. I like that this does have defensive morale. The shock part doesn't matter as much, right? Yeah, because cannons have basically no shock. No, I guess the large cast iron cannons does make sense. I did like the defensive morale pip, but more fire damage. And the first round of combat is fire, right? Um, so if we just do a big opening volley, it damages things a lot. Okay, plus it's large, and everyone knows bigger is better. Are you still in war over here? Still considering just outright declaring on you. Especially since Hormuz, unless we dock our trade fleet for a little bit. Hmm. No, I don't like it. We are breaking even on sailors now, though, which is nice. Okay, four moves. We'll get a claim fabricated. And then we'll stop building a spy network. Oh, 
Okay, you would join in now. Now we've got kind of equal forces. Persia's still in a war against Shagate. They're going to be distracted. I'm willing to bet. I don't think there's a way for us to check their economy, is there? In the ledger? I mean, there's income. Yeah, I don't know if there's a way to check what their bank account is like. Their military tech level is 10. We're 13. Oh my god, our military would be so much better than theirs. I kind of want to do it, you guys. I kind of want to do it a lot. Although, our king, annoyingly enough, has a reduced morale thing. Well, at least we do have the high prestige. That much is good. Okay, you're moving out over there through Delhi. Um, oh, you're, oh, Delhi's involved in this war. I could move into a position to just boop those guys immediately, which actually sounds like the way to go. Yeah. Three position there. Because that's originally what I was going to look to do there. New tech. Uh, we could take the admin one. We're not about to be capped. Two more production efficiency is nice, but not necessarily a deal breaker although we will get the at that time bonus again hopefully we're going to be doing some big cores after this okay we're about to get a morale tick ah let's do it Oh, um, will we need, I mean, that war, there we go. So our enemy can walk through here, so surely we'll be able to get that as well, right? Oh, no, because you're, um, it's because you finished the siege. So I, I don't think I can chase you now. All right. Well, so much for that plan. Oh, also our ships. You have the siege pip? Yeah, you have the siege three. Good. We'll move you in here, then we'll fall back. Uh, you've got some cannons, and you've also got three siege pips. So let's go for that. Split you up a little here. Great advisor died. That's annoying. Um, We're going to split off the cav and half of you. Um, Not quite half. We're going to keep a one-to-one. Not that we need. We actually only need 10 cannons in here for maximum siege bonus. So just to limit our attrition. So 10 cannons and the 10 front row. So there you go. The 20 stacks can move there. This group here. We'll get some of you to go over there. Okay. So uh, we lost our Diplo dude. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, we can afford this guy. Positive difficult rep is nice. I mean, it would help us annex a little faster, but I'm not, I'm not in a rush to annex these guys necessarily. I think I might just save a little bit of cash for now because it looks like we're actually in a good position to continue to just buy lots of buildings. I'll just go for Hamir. He'll be cheaper. And he gives us the trade efficiency, which, I mean, can give us a little bit more money. All right, there we go. You're in place. Um, over here, oh, what I should do, that's a level two fort? Yeah. So let me move the cav and one, two, three out of here. Pull you back to just there. And perfect, three more cannons. That's exactly what I want. But oh, you're already locked, that was fast. These three cannons and throw them in here for maximum CGosity. And purchase an ability, ooh, will any of this be helpful? 
institution spread actually Ooh, reduced war score Oh, this will be really useful in this war. Oh, this would be so good because we could eat a ton of Persia. Um, and that, I mean, that'll do um, aggressive expansion, but I'm not too worried about Ottomans and Bukhara and Mamluks from this. They're pretty far away from me still. They prop they shouldn't have much AE. Minus 30 in Bukhara is zero over here, three there. And Bukhara is actually kind of surprisingly high. Um, but again, I think we can mostly truce cycle, especially since we'll have a truce with Persia. Shagatai definitely is already in the game. We don't have a truce with them, but if no one else is joining, we might be all right. So this would let us eat a lot more. On the other hand, we are currently trying to get an institution to spread. Maybe it's better to not have this. We'll take a smaller nibble of Persia. I don't know. You know, the other thing we can do, though, is rather than just take tons of Persian land, although I'm sure we'll take some, most preferably probably around the coast, um, we can also force Persia to release some stuff. F it. We're going to go for greed. Greed is good. Okay, course, course, course. Done. Where are we being siege? Oh, up over there. Um, That's fine. Glacial terrain. As I was say, tell me more attrition because of winter. Hmm. Let's. Oh, you're your territory, not a state, so I can't do an edict. I was gonna say, let's do the edict of increased defensiveness. Um, I'm not really feeling a need to go over here and counter their attacks. In fact, they might get attacked by someone in the other war they're in we just chill over here all right oh vinegar's got quite a few ships oh let's get ourselves an admiral again done oh and do i want to do a little bit of culture swapping here yeah let's do it so we have like no accepted as well for gandhi so we'll go and do a culture swap over there and there there, because if we look at these provinces, right, our output will be dropped because of the cultural mismatch. I mean, this is a crap province, so we don't necessarily care about this. Um, but at the same time, yeah, see, 33% less. Um, at the same time, it's so cheap because it's got no development. So what the heck? It'll also help with some of our unrest and stuff if the Gandhi specifically were looking to create some issues. Conversions, siege over here is over, so we're going to move over that way. And then we'll move up some armies to be nearby to support. Where are you white, white flagging off to? Be nice if you stop right there, beat it. Yeah, you've occupied that. Good for you. I'm really not concerned. I'm feeling very confident about this war. Now, we do get taking war score from winning battles. Okay, so speaking of, that is a big battle group. So actually, let's bring you back over this way. And we might look to hunt them down to generating some ticking war score. Hello, army professionalism. Supply depots and a decision. State firearms regulations. Um, let me wait on that because I'm not currently drilling. All right, pull back over here. We're gonna go try to defeat this 40k stack. It's over. Oh, Alright, good. More conversion. Do more of that. So you're alone, but probably fine. Hopefully, maybe. Oh, uh, that's not good because we might lose that battle. for force march oh tech level 15 ah dang it okay you know what i don't think i need this 15k i'm gonna move you back uh just hang out in bam 
just in case something shows up out of the woodwork to go and challenge our siege deck. Uh, again, I don't know if we'll be... Okay, we do have access rights through here properly now. Oh, we're going to catch something. Good. Let me bring the speed down a notch. Doing little baby stacks. Oh, shite, 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 shite. Oh, no, it's going to be a mountain attack. Oh, oh, is there any chance we win this tick here, please? Oh, my God. 71% chance and it failed. Uh, we're probably going to lose that battle now. That's really annoying. That's really annoying. If we'd gotten that 71% tick, we would have been the defender in the mountains. not so much losing the battle in in and of itself that bothers me it's the possible war score stuff you're at war with persia good mm, all right we're gonna have to ignore you for a little bit yeah also now we have to restart the siege completely it's more than a little frustrating this would be attacking the mountains. oh yeah and i can't get there because i have to go through the Oh my god, that's so frustrating. Okay, and here, I'll start a new siege. We've got better numbers. Oh, Balmanis, we want to recycle your siege. Oh, hang on. Well, they might reinforce now. They're moving away. Yeah, we should be able to win this before they reinforce with anything. We've got a good buddy nearby, too. That was really annoying. Good thing we got lots of manpower. And income. So yeah, I won't be able to go through this, which sucks. So let's go and... We'll restart the siege. Let me pull back with you. Hopefully this army here doesn't stay there, because that would be annoying. On the bright side, well, them retaking this isn't going to be so bad, but them starting to siege any of my stuff is very expensive for them. Maybe I should have just ignored that group and stayed here and defended this siege. I mean, hindsight, yes. But everything's a lot clearer in butt sight. I think we're still fine. All right, army stop running. Good. Okay. Uh, yeah, you'll get some reinforcement ticks. Let's start moving you up here. I don't want to do any sort of consolidate or anything like that. Stand you here. And from here, if I wanted to, yeah, you could reach there. Oh, that did reset the timer. Oh. Even if you don't actually do the move, I just wanted to check that the movement was available. I guess I could have split off something. All right, we do have more rebels, which is annoying. But we do have to focus on this. Um, I attacked into here. That would be on the poor side. Of mountains. Um, I just realized we don't have a breach yet, so let's go ahead and spend that for the breach. I forgot that that button exists because for a long time it wasn't in the game. It has been in the game for a long time now, but um, the artillery barrage is still not part of my AI. Of course, we're not going to win that tick. Why would we win that tick? Oh, I'm sorry. Did all your reinforcements go away? I mean, I realize we'd still be attacking to the mountains. Although, hold on. I'm an idiot. they I'd be the uh, defender because of the fort. I'll watch them win their siege tick. But, I mean, we'd still have superior numbers. It's probably still fine. Okay, no, we got it, so that's fine. Okay. Win the siege. There we go. All right. Wish you. We don't know where the big army has gone, but they are fighting other wars. Let's 
we'll make a beeline to this fort here. Yeah, there's no ticking war score currently because not no one's got enough war score. Especially the fact that we've swapped some battles back and forth. A little bit of spreading out. That's probably fine. You're still beelining over here. Hopefully you don't run into anything. Lots of mountain forts. catch this guy? No? Okay. Just let him do that. That's fine. Alright. Not about to cap on anything. Yeah, there's the automated siege, but I don't know if I want to do that right now. Oh, there we go. And I got our beating no guy. That's good for us. Move down to Kerman. Makes me want to play Kerbal. Now, I'm going to stay on this side for now. We might want to go and claim this stuff, which means we'll want that, um, we'll want this desert fort. I mean, we can claim this, which is okay. If we want to go up the coast. It would be nice to get a land connection across the sea and just be ready to go there, actually. That actually sounds very appealing. Oh, same thing here. Let's remember the barrage. We're going to spend our military power to accelerate this because we've got some to spare. Conversion. Let's do some more. Idea is still just the firearms. Yep, we can leave that for later. Okay, I'm going to move you down here. Let's we'll send some more cannons to speed things up. Actually, in these groups. Yeah, there we go. Um, actually, meet up in four moves. There might be more cannons than we need, but we'll see. Uh, let me go and send you over here. Um, or not. Oh, the blockade! Come over here. Each stick? No, of course not. As I say, these are only light ships, so they're not really designed for proper warfare, but... Good. Come on through. Let's keep going up the coast over here. So, oh, no, we're actually short two cannons. Okay, well, we'll do three. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Do a little preemptive group up in case there is an army waiting down there. I don't think there is one. Um, and if there is one, it's not going to be very powerful, but... There we go. That siege is over. Let's go for their capital. Yeah, over here. Okay, actually, we'll just detach. Move. And you guys just make the trip over here now. Okay, that should be good. Okay, I don't like that some of your truces that ended because they could decide to form a coalition. We'd have to jump on them kind of immediately. We actually literally might need to start the war with the coalition, like, right now. Which is not ideal. Moving some ships out here. These ships are pretty damaged, but I've ne I need to stay present here. At least long enough to, like, move these guys out, which might restrict them. Okay, now that they're there, we can go ahead and dock for some repairs. I could split the Navy, but I'm worried about them being too weak in that case. Actually, I could have ejected these ships, too, and... Well, we might do. We might do. Get a few repair ticks on our own ship. Uh, oh, you. Over there. You are going to move to Jask. Um, do I want to keep 
popping this. We are running war taxes, and I'm fine with that. I've actually got enough money to consider some extra construction here. That's pretty low. Although we could go and spend some other things. Uh, where is Samana? Is it possible it has, it's not a state? Is it Sanama? There it is. Maybe the all caps ruined it. Yeah, okay, so it's a territory. Uh, which means it has high autonomy, but it won't forever. Um, yeah, we'll go ahead and get the textiles industry started here. Okay. Okay, we'll probably get the end of December, January 1st tick. And then we'll move these ships out. Because that should work out pretty well timing-wise. January 1st. You move out over there. Maybe we get one more month of repair, but I don't really expect it. Let's go for cannons. We do actually have to um, shorten the war a little bit. We'll do a cannon volley over there as well. Yeah, there's a fortress there doing things. Mostly now we need some war score, which mostly means maybe we should be hunting down the uh, enemy armies so we can get some ticking war score. There's a lot to siege out here. Let's go for speed. That's been done. Ooh, that's an interesting path. Okay. Yeah, they get ejected. Theoretically, we beat them up some more. occupation here we should have control over the sea pretty solidly there we go oh they're gonna send go over there um i don't think this is 20 that's probably okay Where are their units? Probably up in their other war. Hmm. Yeah, it would be really nice if we just got the ticking war score from that going on. Especially since I do kind of feel the need to chain some stuff down here. Although, ooh, apparently it's some internal war. Bengal, oh, attacker against Shagatai. Oh, interesting. Okay. Good, keep yourselves busy. All right, well, we're gonna put a cut in here. In next episode, we continue our war with Persia. I mean, already they're like very willing to GG out, right? They're, they're quite eager for it, but we don't have enough war score to take what I would consider an appropriate amount. Although we do have those discounts, which are pretty sick. They're still fine here. I mean, I would love to grab all on the coast. Okay, so this becomes too much here, but not by much. If we want to lock out the coast and take everything across into the peninsula, that's pretty good. Although, um, I guess we're also, we're also at war with the Mamluks. If we went and did some damage against the Mamluks directly, we could t consider taking their coast as well. Now, we're going to have to take an eye on our aggressive expansion, but maybe the greed continues. We'll see. Folks, thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.